Good morning, I'm Michael Taylor. You're listening to Excel for Marketers, and today I'm going to teach you how to use VLOOKUP. So what is VLOOKUP? It's simply a way to pull information from one report, in our case, this conversion report over here on the right, and bring it into another report, advertising report here on the left. So everything in this yellow section here is only made possible with VLOOKUP. So let's get started. So first you might think, why do I need to use a formula here? Couldn't I just copy this across? You could, for example, just say campaign four had three conversions. I'm gonna paste that here. Campaign two had one conversion. I'm gonna paste that here. No, I'm gonna stop you there. It's gonna take way too much time. Right now we only have five campaign names, but actually you're usually dealing with hundreds of campaigns, maybe even thousands if you're a sophisticated advertiser. And you're not always going to be able to just copy and paste that stuff across. And why would you? You're wasting time when you could be using a formula. Once you learn that formula, it's going to become second nature because this is a very popular formula for marketers. Ask any sufficiently technical marketer and they're going to be telling you that they use VLOOKUP on a daily basis. So how does it work? First thing we need is lookup value. Right, so that's the common column between two reports. In this case for us, it's campaign name. So I'm just gonna choose that one over here. In the first row, we're gonna be looking at campaign one, comma, and then we need to choose the table array. So this is where Excel is gonna look for us to pull the information we need. And that needs to be included with the campaign name and the conversion amount. Uh, so both of the pieces of information we need uh, to complete this formula. And we want to make this an absolute reference. Why do we need to do that? Because we're going to drag this formula down to these other rows, and we don't want this box moving with it. We want to stick that in place with an absolute reference. Command T on a Mac. Next thing is column number. This is the column we want to return. Uh, this is column one, campaign name. Column two, conversions. That's what we need. It might be that we have multiple columns here, in which case we just need to count along to the column that contains the information that we need. For the last part, I'm just going to type false, and that's going to give us an exact match uh, rather than a fuzzy match, which would be true. Don't worry too much about that right now. And there you go. Four conversions. Campaign one. And look, campaign one had four conversions. It worked first time. Great. See, that wasn't so hard. Now, if we drag that down, because we use the absolute reference, it actually worked correctly for every campaign, even though the campaigns are in a different order in these two different reports. So this is great. This is working um, for us, and we now have com uh, conversion information in, in our advertising report. Now, what does this do for us? So first, it allows us to calculate conversion rate, which is conversions divided by clicks. Some traffic sources are gonna be much more relevant than others. Some are gonna be higher quality than others. Conversion rate is a good indicator of that. For example, campaign one here has a 6.8% conversion rate, whereas campaign five has a 1.2% conversion rate. Now, previously, if you didn't have this conversion data, you might look at campaign one and say it's too expensive because it's $1.70 per click versus 56 cents for campaign five. Uh, but you might be wrong about that because it's worth paying more for traffic that converts at a higher rate. And we're going to see that when we calculate cost per conversion, which is really what we're after. And that is cost spend divided by conversions here. Great. Now we really know all we need to make business decisions. First of all, we can see that our highest spending campaign that's driven 25 conversions actually has a pretty good conversion rate and therefore the cost per conversion is $22. So we, we should be pretty happy with that. Uh, we have other campaigns we should be less happy about. Campaign five, for example, cheap CPC, yes, but the conversion rate is low and therefore the cost per conversion is $45. We might consider cutting budget to that campaign and reinvesting it into a campaign like campaign four, where the cost per conversion is only $11 the conversion rate is much better. It seems like much more relevant traffic to us. Great, so now that you've learned to be lookup, you're gonna be seeing examples of this everywhere. You're gonna find it extremely useful. 
Uh, in the next section, we're going to talk about some if, which helps you get over uh, one of the limitations of VLOOKUP, which I'm going to explain in the next section. Thank you.